Hi, I'm Dalton and welcome you to my channel. Welcome to Space Engineers episode 3, the progress report. Uh, last episode we left off with um, the conclusion that I needed to build a mining vehicle because materials were running out and um, I needed to do something about it. Um, I kind of, um, I didn't succeed. <laughs> uh, this is what I um, was working on, a large vehicle and I was designing a open for a cockpit here and then a, uh, just like a normal crane I guess at least a crane in Holland a, a back portion that can turn with an arm that can extend in all directions and um, it, I just kind of got stuck here um, so I went to a creative world and tried to design something desperately for uh, <laughs> I, I don't know a long time I was on it for uh, quite a while and uh, the first design, uh, the rotors kept snapping off. I couldn't uh, get two rotors to, you know, for example, one rotor here, one rotor here. I couldn't get a connection between the two. Um, so that was a problem. And uh, even though it d I did get it to work on the Honey Badger, well, it didn't work. So I decided to try something else and that also didn't work. So I got frustrated and I was like, ah, let's, uh, let's scrap it. Um, this one was a nice, I had a nice idea in my head, but, uh, you know, with the bumper here, and cabin and everything, but it isn't going to do it. Uh, so that's a sad moment, but I was low on materials, I uh, need to do something about it. And I went, uh, went hand mining, I went to the mining site, and I'll show you all this in a few minutes. Uh, with the vehicle I went to my mining site for iron over there, and then I uh, told, wait, I'm not lacking iron at the moment, I'm lacking silicon for solar power panels because my flight time is rather short in the flying vehicles so I went to that site over there which has magnesium and silicon and I have to say this truck it um it's okay it works actually that's got our battery online uh, and if we disable the parking brake um especially since my um modifications to suspension I can show them right real quick um Strength, <laughs> I was setting it to the top uh, because I thought it's nice, but lower is better. And uh, all of this, I tweaked it a little. This is working out, uh, working okay so far. Um, and as you can see, it's driving uh, okay. I've set the top speed to 25 kilometers per hour, and I've also added some lights on the back, as you can see here. Um, but anyhow, so I went to a mining site first thing, iron one, and as you'll see in a minute. As we get there um i started to get down in a diagonal line uh with the idea maybe um uh, if i've lost some time i come up with a brilliant idea and i um grab a, a small mining rover and with that rover i drive down the ramp into the mine so i can mine the ores um it was <laughs> i took all the stone i could get uh i didn't use the left click um right click mining uh Left click, right click, right click mining tick, to, uh, uh, tick, tick, idea. Uh, because if you use your right mouse button while mining, uh, you don't get some materials, but you do mine a lot faster. So I didn't do that. I, all the stone in here is processed to gravel. Uh, and I downloaded a, um, how do you call it? A mod uh, that adds these guys the concrete armor blocks uh, which require little iron but uh, for the rest uh, gravel but as you can see a uh, ramp down into the area here um, this is where the good stuff is the iron uh, I've got some uh, back over at the base and I've used some um, so this, this is my design version one um, I actually think the ramp is a little steep uh, at least for the truck it's uh, it's steep enough uh, so I'm and I don't have a mining vehicle, so I don't have to worry about it. But I think it's a little too steep. Um, the second mine, the silicon uh, mine over there, we'll go there now. I used a different design for that. Uh, park break off, obviously. I, I built this mine. I built this mine um, during the the night time, so. Uh, it was rather hard to see the where the ore was 
Now in daytime you see those huge dark spots. That's where the ore is. Um, nighttime is difficult to see, so I couldn't find it very well, even with the lights on this vehicle. Um, Spot lights aren't that great apparently, but I um, found my spots and I started mining. Um, I think it's a great thing to do during the night, especially since my nights were set to two hours. Uh, it's a lot of time to pass doing nothing. Um, in the meantime, I've changed my uh, time settings to uh, a little shorter. But my day and night cycle is now 30 minutes. Hoping to get a little more playtime uh, out of my active uh, gaming time. But anyways. Um, the second mine. Uh, MO. You see the, the waypoint I said there. MO stands for Mining Outpost. This is Mining Outpost more mines. But one is Mining Outpost the mines. Um, I thought I should change that into this one. I should do that. Ta -da. And the second mine, I um, original idea was to make an uh, elevator down. Um, I didn't do that because of the materials that would require, and because, well, I didn't really find a uh, reason to do it. And, um, why make an elevator for just a few materials? Um, I don't have the resources to build the elevator. I don't have. Um, I don't want to build an entire uh, a system around it, so I'll just run up and down a few stairs, as you'll see in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that that works just fine. It works uh, okay. So here we are. Um, doesn't per se look like a mining outpost because we initiate the parking brake and get out. See a pit here. <laughs> All unfinished uh, concrete blocks. This way is some nickel, I believe. Let's uh, switch to the hand drill. Yeah, it's nickel. And down there we have the silicon. It's a long way down. Um, I, I was mining the silicon and while making more uh, solar cells, I uh, ran out of nickel. So I was like, hey, there's nickel near the silicon. This silicon got so far. Also, a lot of rock. This is the top layer rock, so only a little bit gathered so far. But um, the design works nice, and with um, uh, right clicking with drill, you uh, really don't get a lot of junk. So I went down here very fast, actually. Only when I started reaching the uh, the silicon itself, I needed to be a little more careful, and that section took a lot longer than in the rest of the the bits here. Anyway, back up to the um, to the rover. Uh, what did we call it? I have a name for it, I believe. The dust worm. Walk back off. And let's go to the base. Uh, I wonder, will the wheels survive if we set the max speed to 55? Why is the speed? Uh, too fast. And if we set it to 40. Oh, it works fine. Okay, 40 is better. It's faster. Faster is good, right? Especially for, uh, for video purposes. Driving around is, is beautiful. This world is looking quite nice. But you don't want to look at the video of me driving around uh, for, uh, for 10 minutes to get from base A to base B. Anyways, we're back to LZ Alpha. And um, with the tweaked hydrogen thrusters they, uh, that Keen released yesterday, two days ago, a few days ago, um, I managed to fix the second solar panel array straight in front of us. So um, I think that's good. Uh, the, the few seconds of uh, flight time you got previously uh, was just ridiculous. And they made it about a minute, I believe they said. Half a minute. Something like that. 
longer. That's a good thing. Anyway, uh, let's park this like this. Turn off everything. And uh, first thing I did to get more power is add this to the solar park. Um, six panels, just facing up. Uh, I know it's not the most efficient design, but I didn't feel like building another one of those rigs. And it works just fine. Six panels work, gets a lot of energy. I've also, we'll walk there to, uh, we'll go there to show it. Uh, da, 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 this way, up the ramp. Off frame game, frame rates, it's dropping. I've colored this, uh, but that's not why we're here. I've also added this pillar, future expansion, and added this, another uh, four panels. To, uh, face to facing the top, uh, so we could get a little more energy. And as you'll see, as we uh, get connected to the base and go to the batteries off the base, these are these. Don't recharge very fast after all. So that's uh, that's a sad thing, but I think that's the downside of solar panels. And we'll have to end the using those solar panels uh, at one point. Um, the truck has been a huge, huge help for me. The, it really doesn't use a lot of power, and it transports quite a lot of materials. Um, if we go in here now and look at the ingots we have at the moment. Uh, iron 25k nickel is actually almost running it's running low but uh, here more iron or gravel lots of it 90k and silicon almost 10k it's, it's a lot of stuff I should get some more nickel but um, it's enormous there are huge amounts of materials and ores and um, just with a little bit of hand mining and that truck to transport it Anyway, now I can do two things. Uh, at least I have two options for the near future. And that is, uh, option one is to get to the uranium waypoint. I have a few nearby. I believe this one. I only have one. Okay. Oh, that one over there. Um, to see if we can get some uranium out of it. And because I noticed when running the refinery that the, it was taking a lot of the base to process it and my power was at one point almost entirely gone and the downside of course is that I can't use my flying ships uh, when the when I'm out of power since the power in the ships also gets drained and that's not something I want I want all there, there are always, to be always a surplus of power inside of the base and that's just something that's not happening at the moment so that's sad and I want to do something Uranium would solve it. Um, I am, however, still uh, doubting about it because also a long time uh, well, dream is not the right word, but uh, something I think would be handy is a little transport vehicle, a flying transport vehicle. I do know this one is um, the truck is nice, but I want a container vehicle, a little bit like I believe Thunderbirds to the Green Rockets, which has a container it can put on the ground and up and I don't know I think it would be awesome to do that but we'll see one of those ideas either setting up a uranium mine or um, making a container ship in the next episode I hope you like this little progress update and I will see you all next time I hope don't forget to leave a like uh, subscribe and I will see yeah it's gonna be the third time I'm saying but see you next time